Hey everybody, so I'm back with now my, I guess, third video on YouTube, my like second actual video. The first one was just like an intro to my page or whatever. Um, super sorry about my last video and how YouTube muted it halfway and I just haven't had like the heart to re-record it. I really don't want to because I really like how that video came out. Um, I tried getting someone to like edit the music out so that you guys could still watch it with me talking at least, but that didn't work. So I think I'm just gonna do like a voiceover with it. I've just been super busy and I need help editing that. So coming soon. Um, and if all else fails, I'll like re-record the whole thing. But yeah, I really like how that one had come out. So anyway, today um, I am filming a like a little mini haul. So I went to Marshalls yesterday and I was there for like two hours. Um, I could spend an eternity in Marshalls. And I had given myself like a budget. I was like, all right, I'm only gonna spend $30. Like I kind of knew what I was going in there for. I needed to get some like voice, uh, face moisturizer and I had seen my stuff in there before. So I was hoping to get lucky um, and get it again. I just use like a L'Oreal face moisturizer that I get at Ulta normally. But yeah, I was like, let me go try uh, Marshalls and see if I can grab it there. And so I didn't find that, but I found a bunch of other awesome stuff. Um, they had a whole bunch of like palettes. Um, they had like Anastasia palettes. They had MAC palettes. Um, they had Too Faced palettes and like a bunch of other stuff. Um, and I'm a little sick, ignore the sniffles. Um, but yeah, so I was like, all right, bitch, you need a budget because if not, you'll go crazy. So I gave myself a budget of $30. And surprisingly, I was able to get a lot of really good stuff for that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Um, I'm wearing like some of the stuff that I got and then I've already used all the other products. So I'll be able to like give you a little review on them, I guess. So, um, I got this charcoal, like, peel-off mask. You know, the ones that you've seen on YouTube where they, like, harden and then you peel them up and you, like, see all, like, the whiteheads come up. I've been wanting one of these forever. They've been really expensive every time I've seen them. So, I have not gotten one. So, yesterday, I, like, stayed in the clearance aisle for most of the two hours that I was there. And um, I actually got this on clearance for $3, which is amazing. I have no idea how much it is normally, but it's vegan and it's cruelty free. So that's a win. And it says it's handmade in Chicago. And I love anything that has to do with Chicago. Chi Town, represent. So yeah, I would give this a good review. I only put it on my nose because in reality, like I only have, this is like my main problem area is my nose. I get a lot of whiteheads. And to be honest, like I was kind of scared of putting it on my whole face because it was gonna hurt. I have like a lot of peach fuzz on my face and that shit would have hurt so bad to peel off. So yeah, I did it on my nose and I'm wearing makeup, but like, I don't know if you could see. My pores are like, are like almost not visible. I'm also wearing um, drugstore foundation right now, which I'm just trying out. I bought it yesterday. It's the Fit Me, but like the dewy one. Um, I think Maybelline. I don't know it's okay i don't love it it looks good on camera but i feel like it didn't look good in in like real life so yeah i would give this a good rating i would definitely buy this again if i found it again it was the only one there so good luck trying to get it but this worked really really well so then um one of my other favorite pickups was this duo here it's um by pearl essence it's this um rose and apricot it's kind of reflecting it's this rose and apricot makeup priming oil um i use this today on my face and it actually was really really soft like it is really nice it's not like overly greasy but it definitely moisturizes really really well I've been wanting a serum like this for a while and I really wanted the Tarte Moroccan oil one but that shit's like I don't even know how much it is it's, it's this big and it's like 30 bucks or more so I've been passing so yeah I got this I really like it it's got rose hip oil and apricot oil and it also came paired with this coconut rose makeup setting spray i was all out of my um fix it plus which i normally use um my fix it plus is over 20 dollars, and i love it i'm not saying that this is better than that i'm still going to re-up on my fix it plus very soon 
but this is a nice spray to have like in between when I run out. Um, this has coconut oil and rose oil. It's supposed to be hydrating. Um, I've had my makeup on for like five hours and I mean it looks pretty good. So yeah, I really like this. So for both of these together, I paid $8, which is a pretty good fucking deal. Because I know these are really, at least by themselves, are like $15. And I feel like setting spray, the cheapest one I've ever gotten is like the NYX. And I think that's like ten dollars or so so this was definitely a good purchase i'm actually gonna probably go and buy more of them um because they had a shitload of them in the clearance and you know they're not gonna be there when i go back so so then um i'm actually hold on i don't know what this is let me change it I can't have like random shit playing because then it's gonna might flag my fucking video again. Also, YouTube like might ban me from YouTube for having copyright music, so I have to be careful. Okay, so I'm actually wearing this one already. This lip gloss. It is called Melted Chocolate by Too Faced. And I know it is a smaller version. But this is what it looks like. Um, I love brown lipstick. Like anything dark, I'm obsessed with. I actually wish this was a little bit darker. It looked darker on the picture that they had. But I mean, I still think it looks pretty good. It's not sticky or anything like that. This I got for $3, which is a pretty good price for a brand name lipstick, and it stays really, really well. I've had this on. I touched it up a little bit, but I had it on for a few hours without having to touch it up. So. And it smells like chocolate. Hi, boy. My son just got done eating his food, so he's coming over here to tell me it was delicious. Right, Papa? Huh? He's a mama's boy, mainly because it's just me and him. So yeah, I would definitely buy this again. And they had a shitload of ranges of shades. Um, oh, this is chocolate honey. So yeah, they had a bunch of different shade ranges and I just happened to get this one because I feel like I was running low on my brown lipsticks. Um, I guess Pluto's doing this video with us. So this is another one of my favorite pickups from yesterday. It is um, Lip Injections by Too Faced, but it is the colored version. I know that they have a clear version as well. I know the clear version is like $20. I got this shit for, I think like $3 as well. It was like three or $4, but it's um, the shade Milkshake and it's pretty much sheer. Can you get off of? I know you want to be in my video, but can you get mom some space? So, oh, I'm mad I got my brush dirty. I wasn't thinking. I can't see shit. I'm not wearing my glasses, so I have no idea, like, how I'm getting this on. Very glad to see now. Thirsty ass back there. So if you've never used lip injections, it is what it's fucking called. It literally like plumps your lips. It starts to like sting. Like yesterday I was smoking a blunt and I passed it to my friend. And she wasn't wearing the lip injections, but like I got some on the blunt. And she was like, my lips were fucking tingling. And so lip injections. And then you'll probably see my lips look a little bit bigger as the video progresses. I only put a tiny amount on though, so I can't feel it yet. But I really like how this looks just based on like the color and then it pumping up my lips is a fucking plus So yeah, this was a super good buy. They had other colors too um, But they were for more, they were more for like fair skin So I just grabbed this one, but I would definitely go back and buy the rest of these because these are really expensive in the store And lastly I got this Anastasia um blush palette and I have been wanting a new blush because I feel like I just have like a really pink one that I don't like I just kind of got like one day because I really needed a blush so this is um orange blushes and I was kind of unsure if I was gonna like them I knew that I could at least wear this one if I didn't like the other ones and I actually I am actually obsessed with this orange one like I have it on right now 
but it is really really beautiful it just makes me feel like very like natural because i'm a big like browns and neutrals girl and so like pink blush just doesn't really excite me it's just too fucking it's too basic so yeah this orange one i absolutely am in love with it has a little shimmer in it too which i like um i am wearing other highlighter and stuff so don't get like fooled but that would be it but yeah i really like this and so yeah that's actually everything that i got in my haul um so i paid about 30 dollars before taxes with taxes it was like 31 something um but all in all i was super super happy um like my tips and tricks to going into marshall's and doing like a quick easy haul without going over budget is um i always walk in and grab a cart because even if i only need one thing i already know i'm not going to leave with one thing most of the time um and i used to always like go into marshall's and start grabbing like little things that would cost like three dollars five dollars like ten dollars and i'd be like all right cool and then i'd go pay and they'd be like your total is 150 dollars and i would be like and i'd pay for it because i needed all of it supposedly so now i've gotten a lot more responsible with my money and so what i do is i grab a cart and i always start in the clearance sections because like let's be honest at marshall's they always have the dopest shit in the clearance section like sometimes you get stuff that's been opened um or i don't know like the makeup a lot of it was open the anastasia palette that i grabbed um it was on clearance for seven dollars even though they had brand like new ones at the, in the other section that were like fifteen dollars I decided to go with this one because I actually opened it. I don't give a fuck. There was a lady right there next to me, but I didn't care. I opened it and I made sure that it was completely brand new. It still had the plastic over it. Like it still has a plastic up here and it looked really, really good. Some of the palettes um, did like kind of look a little bit messed up. There was one that had like a fingerprint on it and I was like, I don't know about that one. Like I probably wouldn't be able to do that because people are dirty as fuck. Excuse me. But um, I spent, like I said, like two hours and what I was doing was just putting stuff in my cart that I thought I like, wanted. And then before I would move on to like the next clearance section, I would review everything and I'd be like, okay, like what's a good buy and what isn't. And the stuff that I was unsure of, I would just leave it in my cart so that I could finish like shopping and then at the end make sure that I either like really wanted it or really didn't. Um, at one point I had a MAC palette that I didn't really like, but I, I mean, I didn't really need, but I liked, and I feel like you can never have any enough palettes, and it was only $15, and I feel like a MAC palette for $15 is a really good buy, so, like, that's how I was justifying bringing it home, but then I reevaluated, and I thought, like, I could get a setting spray, the, um, oil, and the blush palette for the same price so i was like let me be responsible and leave that stuff leave the palette and grab that stuff um i also at one point had like a pack of lashes it was like a five pack of lashes for like six bucks and um i just decided that i didn't like the lashes as much they were really really long and like when i feel like when lash <laughs> i feel like when lashes are too long they just look like really fake and that's how those look they look almost like latexy so i put, decided to put those back but yeah like that's just what i recommend i just um i recommend just looking at the stuff that you like making sure you're getting like what you came in there for first and foremost setting a budget and then just like really evaluating what you have in your car and like do i really really need this or could i go without it and I know it's sometimes really hard to leave stuff at Marshall's because it's really hard to go back and get it again because it gets sold out. But I always say, like, if it's meant to be, I can leave it and come back for it another day, like, next week, and it'll still be here. And if it's not there, it just wasn't meant to be. So, yeah. Let me know um, if there's any other hauls that you guys would like to see. I know this one was a super, super, um, like, low-budget one, so I only got a handful of items. But um, in a couple of weeks, I want to do a Lush haul. And not necessarily a haul. Like, I just want to go in there and get, like, re-up on all the stuff that I normally use. And then just talk about, like, my face routine and the products I use. I got a lot of questions about, um, like, how I wash my face or what products I use. And I've talked to a couple of different people that, like, follow me on Instagram about what I recommend using. But um, I've never put together a video. So I'm going to do that next um, in a couple of weeks. So let me know. I'm sorry. My nose is so ready um let me know if there's anything else that you guys would like to see up and coming um, i'm gonna try to get 
these videos rolling at least like once every two weeks uh, and i hate dragging to release new content but yeah i'm definitely open for suggestions um and i have gotten a lot of cooking video um suggestions so i'm probably gonna do that really really soon i just need to get like my kitchen in order because it's kind of ugly i need to make it look cute and whatever so yeah um thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss out on any of my new videos that i release um and yeah have a good night everybody